Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome back and welcome to our new subscribers. I'm here today with my M's Scrap Busters Challenge. Yeah, it's a challenge started by Melina, who is me crafty scrapper on YouTube, and she makes various projects once a week from scraps. Uh, she normally says make as many as you can in around 30 minutes. Now her video this week was a monster of a video. She'd actually did two types of altered paper clips. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to split it into two videos. I can't get me head around it all in one video. <laughs> so what I'm doing today is these cute little things. It is, as you can see, an altered paper clip. She's made them slightly differently to how I normally make them. She's put extra elements on that I've not seen before. And I just think they're, they're beautiful. So, if you can see, the actual paper clip is that. It's a little pocket. It's got room for a little something inside. I've just put a little scrap of paper in that I've inked up. You could put anything in. You could, I could yeah, look, I'm going to put something else in. I'm going to put a little flower in as well that I made. Will it stay? No, it's not. It don't want to stay, but it might look really good on there decorating one. Yeah, so... And then we've got a little cluster, a little piece of lace, and it's attached to the corner. So you've got an altered paper clip with a built-in dangle. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I've got a butterfly on there, and I've got a little butterfly charm. So there's a lot of little elements all in one cute little journal decoration. So let's get on. Oh, I did. I made one wrong, look, but... It's not wrong, it's just different. <laughs> uh, this one, what had happened here is I'd totally forgot I was supposed to be attaching the cluster as a dangle and I glued it on, but I still like it. And it's still got, yeah, that's just a little card that I've cut. You've got room to put a little bit of journaling on back. So yeah, that's it's not wrong, it's different. So that's a couple of those. And here we have one of the paper clip bases with no decoration on yet i mean that looks cute as it is from this paper that's made up of postcards and letters and little bits and bobs so i'll get started and make one i'm surrounded by lots of little bits of scraps because i'm going to be using on this a lot of things that i've made in previous videos and i will link those videos below i will remember i promise yeah and a lot of these I've made on the M um, Scrap Busters Challenges. And yeah, it's going to bring a lot of those together. I do store all my teeny tiny YouTube makes in these little tubs. So there's all sorts there <laughs> that I've not used yet. Yeah, that you might notice and recognise if you've been watching me for a while. But like I say, I will link the videos where I make a lot of these down below. So let's make a base. <sighs> Yes, and, and as I'm making, I will say, I am I'm fine today. I nearly had a bit of a meltdown on my video yesterday, didn't I? Sorry about that. It's, yeah. Anyway, less said the better about that one. And thank you to everyone who did actually check that we're okay. Right, what I'm doing now is I'm just going to measure this. I want, I'm going to make this out of piece of card that is six inches. So I want to make a slightly bigger one than I've made before. I don't know how wide these were, I've just guessed. But I just wanted to give you an idea of the size of card I'm going to start with today. And the bit I've cut off can be another little card to tuck in one of the pockets. So I'm going to move Chopper because I've got a lot on my desk. Right, you can just... I tried folding these just by folding them into thirds and it kept going horribly wrong. If you can do that, well, more power to you. <laughs> But I would just, in fact, you know what, let's try one, see if I can do it. Right, I want my little pocket on this left-hand side. So I want to fold that over. And this one needs to be wider than that. Right, let's do it. I'm going to do it. Just be brave, woman. Fold it and do it. This is obviously not a completely straight piece of card. I've done it. Wow, I did it. There you go. Look at me. I'm not happy with how straight that is at top, so I'll bring my trimmer in because I don't think this piece of paper was the same width at one side as the other. I'm just going to trim it off. So I'm now left with this and I'll measure it for you. 
it's ended up being two and a quarter inches wide and three inches high but it all depends on piece of paper you use doesn't it so i'm just going to do put a bit of ink on this so you can actually see where the pocket is yeah i'm also linking melina's video which is brilliant she's made some tickets to put on hers i've got some clusters with tickets on so i've used those so i'm not in this one i'm not actually going to be making anything from scratch i've already got a lot of the things melina made and used pre-made so i'm going to use them up it is a scrap busters challenge after all isn't it right i'll now move that out of the way and i'm going to grab my paper clips i'm using gold ones and to be honest i've used a mix of colors it's not something i would normally do but that's because i can be a bit of a control freak I mean, look at this. I've used a silver staple on the cluster. I've used a bronze butterfly. I've used a gunmetal black pin and a gold paper clip. And do you know what? I still like it. In fact, I think I like it more than when it's all coordinated. So, yeah, I'll show up now and just get it done. Now, sometimes I put the longer one on the inside. Sometimes I put the longer one on the outside. Today I'm going to put the longer one on the outside because this is quite a big chunky thing. So pop that on your centre and then what Melina used, I normally, I think sometimes I'll, I'm too scared that things are going to fall apart and I'll use things far stronger than we need. I like use my glue gun which sometimes can make them lumpy or I'll use, you know, loads of art glitter which is quite expensive. Melina used packing tape and hers are fine. Yeah, they're not falling apart. Now, I don't have much clear packing tape because I swapped to using paper packing tape and I'm not sure how strong that's going to be. But I've come up with this because I've got, excuse the bits of fluff on the side, this roll is about 10 year old, I'm not joking. Uh, I used to use this for my mini albums. It's the extra strong acrylic tape it, it's acid free and all that gummins so i'm going to do that i'm going to put it over the paper clip at this point melina just used the wide packing tape covered it all i'm going to cut it off and then it kills two birds with one stone as they say i'm going to this is what they call a pressure sensitive tape every time i use it i tell you what it's uh, what its original use is it's for fastening it's for sticking together the various elements on a UPVC window you double glazing double glaze windows and as it's pressure sensitive which a lot of tapes seem to be to be quite honest they always stick better when you've burnished them so I'm burnishing it that's not coming off now that will peel the paper away before it comes off and I'm gonna do a little burnish in the middle of the paper clip yep so then I'm gonna peel it off you can just use ordinary packing tape, use your glue if you want, use anything. Use what you have. That's what Melina did in her video and that's what I'm doing. So now I'm going to fold over the long piece. Somehow I've not got this wrong yet. Ooh, before I fold over, hang on. I'm going to put a little bit of glue around this edge. Just because my tape's not as, not as wide. Yeah. Just to seal the top and the bottom. Take the pin out of your mouth woman before you forget and eat it so that's all stuck down now i'm going to fold that over to make that cute little pocket so i'm going to put a bit of glue along the top and along the bottom yeah because my head were not <laughs> right yesterday i must have watched melina's video six times i'm not joking and it just was not sinking in so i've watched it again today and i've understood it yeah so there you go all right so that is now my little paper clip with its little pocket and that's just so cute next i want to thank one one of my subscribers in particular who <laughs> fabulous genius genius idea a couple of people have come up with genius ideas in my comments thank you so much i was moaning about not being able to see exactly where i was going to punch a hole with my cropper dial and I use this because I said you can see it sl slightly better. Now, I've, I've been uh, 
yeah i've took a piece off this at the suggestion of now if i get your name wrong i do apologize elka yeah thank you elka genius idea now these normally come like this with a little thing on the bottom that catches all the bits that you've punched out yeah and she said take that off and you can see exactly where you're punching so on this smaller one that i've got i've taken that piece off and it came off quite easily no tools required and can you see now i can see exactly where that hole's going to be and sometimes on the corner of things i, I I can punch two near the top, two near the side. So I'm just going to put a little dot on here where I want to punch it. Well, not a dot, a little circle. And then, I don't know if you can see, I can now get my punch exactly where I want it. And that is just where I want it. So thank you so much, Elka. Genius idea. Absolutely. Right, so we've got our base. And now I want to come in and decorate it. And do you know what? On this one, I think I'm going to have a rifle in this box. I have got somewhere... Oh, look at that. That's one of the little postage stamps I made. That would look fabulous on a bigger one. It might be a bit too big for this. Oh, look at that. I've punched it on the wrong side <laughs> to use that. Uh, uh, what am I like? Well, I've got more of these clusters. Can you even see me rifling? These were all folded up neatly at one point. They're the clusters that were made on ribbon. Again, that was one of Melina's challenges. I could, do you know, I'm going to use one of these. I am. I'm going to use that one. And I'm going to cut the ribbon off higher and lower. Uh, Melina did use one of these on one of hers, but I think she used it slightly different. And I think I'm going to use that ribbon at the top to put my pin through. And then I could even put another dangle on the bottom, couldn't I? Yeah, yeah. I think that's a that's an idea. I'm going to cut that off a bit shorter, though. And behind it, I think I'm going to pop... I've got a little handful of bits and bobs out of my clusters tub yeah i've got some bits of linen that might look nice oh i've got some bits of hessian i've got this is the it's not bleached it's the natural color rather than that craft color hmm. uh, i don't know what i want to put i think i'm going to put a bit of yeah i'm going to put a bit of linen on I think a bit of lace might have been better, but the bits I've got out are all too small. Because this, I've just come up with this idea with ribbon now. I don't, know if I, I don't like the ribbon at the bottom. I don't want another dangle on. I'm going to cut the ribbon off flush with the cluster. Yeah. But I'm going to use that there. Yeah. In fact, I will think I want a couple of bits of ribbon on this. I do. I do. I do. I think I might even want one there at the top of the cluster. I do. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I want. I won't see that, will I? Yeah, I'm just going to poke that in there like that. Yeah, just some bits of frou frou. And I'm going to put this one on with a bulb pin. Melina had not got any bulb pins. She was waiting for some stock to arrive. Uh, but do you know? I, I tried one with a bulb pin, then I changed it, and I think I'm changing that, <laughs> like you do. I think I prefer the little standard safety pins, to be quite honest, but we'll see, won't we? No, I like You can see those at the top, then you see, I like that. That's going to go through there. Now I want to put a charm on it first. Grab your butterfly charms, woman. the same one I used before yeah why do we always go for the same one have a different one yeah, have that one yeah so before putting it through there I told you I'd not really got this off pat had I at least this one I think is 
grasp the idea a bit better through your ribbon and then through these little bits of frou-frou and then through that if you want to put some eyelets in you could I don't have any that work in that size so there and there we go now so look I think let me get the other one out so yeah Melina I think I like the little safety pins better I do but if, oh if we put it sideways it's even it's better yeah I do I like the safety pins better Melina so yeah I'm going to change it. No, I'll not do it now. Leave it. I'm getting all faffy now. So that's that. What I need now is something to pop in there. Oh, I could make one the right size for that to pop in, couldn't I? That'd be cute. But I'm going to go to my little new scrap boxes. Kindly gifted to me by Deborah. These are lovely. Yeah. I need to know where you got them from, Deborah, for uh, Tanya. Tanya wants some. So, what have I got? That's a bit too flowery. Oh, I've got a ticket. I got this ticket out with a view to using it to decorate. Oh, it's just a bit too long and it might disappear inside. Oh, that's, that's cute. I like that. Is that? Yeah, that's white on the back. I'm going to ink that up and use that. Because, again, this challenge is all about using up your scraps. And these are scraps. Everything matches what it's inked. <laughs> I'm discovering. So that, oh, look at that. Really happy with that. That's cute. I really like it. So I've now got three. Right, I want to make a bigger one. I want to use that to tuck in the flap. So let me grab a piece of card. I've got two of these baskets. This one has slightly larger scraps in. I've got some tea dyed scraps and yes, yeah, some larger scraps. Ooh, I've got some Tim Holtz big scraps. In case you're thinking, wow, look at size of her scraps. How many scraps does the woman have? Oh, I've got scraps. I've got scraps coming out of my ears. I've got pounds and pounds of scraps, kilograms and kilograms. Yeah, I've got 20 years worth of scraps. I've been uh, saving... Oh. Oh, don't throw a piece of paper away unless it's less than a quarter of an inch square, you see. That's my problem. Right, I'm going to make a big one. So this one is going to require me to, well, not measure, but just judge. So we want it to fit in and we need room to glue the top and bottom. So I'm thinking if I put it, I might, well, I might want to use this side. I don't know. I'm going to use this side with leaves on. If I cut it there, or do I want the top of the leaf? I want the top of the leaf. I'm even going to snip it with scissors where I want to cut. I need to get rid of the top of that, obviously, because it's a bit really, it's really wonky. So I'm going to snip it there. So, yeah. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut it to my length. I think the depth is... We need it a little bit deeper, so I'm going to cut it a bit longer than six inches. I don't, my, my trimmer runs out at six, so I don't know how much longer than six inches it is. It's a bit longer than six inches. I'm going to cut where I made that little cut. And I'm just going to trim that uh, unsightly top off. Although some people might want to leave that on. If I were doing something really grungy, I'd leave that on. There I am calling it unsightly. Right. Oh, that's a little other side. I want me to tuck on the same side again. So, I want it to tuck in yay far. So, I'm going to bend this. I don't want it to disappear. I'm going to bend it about there. Yeah. So, I've used the leaf bit and leaf's going to end up inside where we don't see it. Silly woman. Now the back, I think I want to bend it. I might have to trim a bit more off this. I might have made it too wide. I want it there. Yeah, I'm going to have to trim a little bit off or it's world's not going to end, is it? 
I'm even going to be brave and do it with my scissors because you're not going to see it. Yeah, happy with that. So if you're following me so far, and that's going to tuck in there like that. Yeah, cute. So let's get a bit of inking done before we start hanging paper clips on. I think the bit of bulk created by the bull pins, you can eliminate that if you use a um, jump ring or two. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. I don't have many of those uh, safety pin type ones. I've got quite a few silver ones, but I don't fancy silver for this project. I really don't. Right, grab me another gold paper clip. I want the big one on the outside again, me thinks. It's about in the middle. I like these paper clips because they've got a yeah, yeah, flat top. It makes it much easier to make these. I got these off Amazon. They are linked on my Amazon storefront. Still having no luck with a storefront for US. Me, me and both Tanya. I've been trying. We've managed to open a US um, affiliate account, yeah, but we, can't, we don't know how to do the storefront. So if there's any experienced YouTubers watching who do know how this stuff works, yeah, any help would be greatly appreciated. I've even tried to look for YouTube videos on it and I can't find anything other than, yeah, open a storefront. Yeah, thanks. That's a lot of help. Yeah, do you know, um, I think it has started when the, the, I think was the first book for dummies, but were it, I don't know, were it uh, computers for dummies, but there's a whole range of them now, but I'll, I need to have a look if there's a YouTube for dummies. I mean, I don't think I'm a dummy by any stretch of the imagination. The books for dummies range are brilliant because they explain everything from the very start. Yeah like from the very start like buy a computer <laughs> yeah there we go switch it on right i've furnished that now i've talked all the way through doing it i'm back in waffle mode put your glue on before you take back enough woman and then you won't get all sticky Whoop. go on is it bolt bog Blogged up, you can actually see how much glue I've got left in this now. And it flows better some days than others. Find your pen, find your pen, find your pen. Borrow a pin out of another bottle if you can't find your own pin. That pin don't fit in. Ah, here we go, it did it, we're blogged at the top. So just a little bit along the bottom at top and top. Which way am I going? That way. Yeah. Must check. Definitely I've not took back enough at tape. Yeah, I'm fine today by the way. Yeah. The brain's back to its usual dippy self. That's better. Not wanting to pop open now i've actually took back enough tape and then oh it's volcanoing now i did have it upside down in preparation for using it on video to get the last bit out and now it just don't want to stop coming out it's either one thing or other isn't it too much coming out or not coming out at all cheers glue so i'll close that up No idea how long I've been going. Right. So there we have that. And we've already got what we're tucking in the back now. We now just need something to put on front. So what we're going to have. I did make some clusters. Oh, that's far too big. I made those clusters on. Um... Oh, that would have been nice to tuck in. Yeah, I'll let you look with me. I've got another one of those. I wanted to try something a bit different. I've got, uh, oh, I've got a bee one. Far too big, far too big. 
I need to get up cracking on. There's so many journals I want to make that I'm saving these things for. I want to do a bee journal. Yeah. Ooh. I don't know whose digital that was. Mm, I don't know. I had another one of those over here, didn't I? I've lost it. It's probably on the desk somewhere. It's probably on the floor getting wheeled over by my chair. Ooh, that's the one. Already inked up. And what we've got in here? Oh, we've got some actual clusters. That's far too bright. Can't use that. I promise I'd let you look. Ooh, ooh. That might be nice. Oh, can you see I've used I made that last last year and I've used one of those pressed stud flowers on it that I've been making today. What else? We've got wax seals. Ooh. That might be nice. With the leaf. It would have been if we got the little oh, we've got the leaf on the back. Yeah. So you can see the leaf. Oh I've got here we have yet another one. Oh we've got that one. If I use that that would be sideways, wouldn't it? But does that matter? Really? Oh there's a cluster that's not too bright. I've used a lot of these clusters and bobbed them in happy mail. The round ones that I made in Melina's challenge. Now they're too small for that. Ooh, we've got a giant love art one that I've made at some point. Oh, wow. I've got another postage stamp. A smaller one. I didn't know I'd got that. Right, so. And a flower. Here we go. Let's cobble some it together. Right, what we're going to cobble together. You. You're out. You are going to be the dangle. Let's put that in now. The glue's dried. Oh, I like that. And if the dangle is one of the faux postage stamps as well, that's going to look so cute. Ooh. Yeah. It's obviously not going to be... We could put that down there. Make that into a dangle. Mm, too many possibilities. My brain's going to explode. It really is. What are you doing to me, Melina? <laughs> so many things you can do with these. Tell you what, first of all, let's make a hole using the hole punch that's been uh, adapted using Elka's idea. So I'm going to pop that there. Oh, this is so easy. My flowers are going to be so much quicker to make now. I might have to put price room down in my Etsy shop because they're so much quicker to make. In fact, you know what? I'm going to. Wowza. Right, this is what I want to put a hole in as well. Yeah, you make your mark, lady, because you still will be upset if you put it in the wrong place. Do you know, if I put the hole there, is it going to... No, it'll stick out too far. I'm thinking aloud now and even my thoughts are jumbled. There. That's that. I think I do want to just pop one of these flowers on. I want to pop one of the smaller ones on. Or I could even pop. Or I could pop a cluster on. That could go on nicely. Or is it going to be a flower? <laughs> oh, I, need, I really need to decide, don't I? There's going to be people like saying, please just make a decision. I want to put that on, I really do. And I'm not going to glue it. I'm going to make a hole. And I'm going to take the flower apart to pop it on. There we go. That were easy. And now it just needs some... I think it wants some lace behind it. Yeah, I'm going to use a length of this and I'm going to cut it with scissors that don't cut it too well. That way you'll get a raggedy edge. Look, <laughs> they don't want to cut it and you'll get a nice raggedy edge. 
you might even get a bit of tape stuck on it rather than that smooth edge there we go I quite like that put that back in and it's it needs something down here doesn't it because it's too plain I'm gonna put this on before deciding and I'm gonna put a butterfly on again the butterfly hanging above the flower have a look these all came in one set from uh, BB craft I can't remember if I got these as part of one of the promotional videos or if I'd already bought them as I say when I do those videos I've bought from BB craft even before I started doing videos from it's like they've sifted through everything on Aliexpress and just picked the good stuff <laughs> so yeah it's more expensive but you don't go if you shop on Aliexpress you know some of the things you buy are duds and you like yeah you learn by your mistakes don't you on there <clears throat> right let's have a look what colour shall we use yeah let's use 26 of those do you know what I've got another idea just because this is long I'm going to attach a bulb pin to an ordinary paper clip not, not even an ordinary paper clip an ordinary yeah what's it called safety pin yeah that's what I'm going to do put your butterfly on first woman Butterfly, faux stamp, lace. Sounds like a recipe, doesn't it? That's some yummy for tea. And then put that through there. See what occurs. See if it hangs a bit better. I quite like that. I quite like being able to see that and that's more interesting at the top than the bottom but I do think my lace is too long so I'm just gonna hack the bottom off let's have another look going back to that and that's I like that now I'm a happy bunny I'm happy with that one now I'm happy with the placement of the dangle and what you could yeah you could actually put some hidden journaling under there it's plain enough to write on that bit but when it's tucked in your journal, that's how it will look. So it doesn't look plain in the slightest. Right. So I've got the two I made before. I've got two I've just made here. We're now over half an hour. So I'm just going to decorate this one up that I'd already made. Yeah. Then we've got five completed. Not really in half an hour. But yeah. So what am I going to pop on this one? I think I might have one of the circular ones dangling. Let me find a different one. I'm not, that's not my favourite, shall we say. There's that one. Oh, I like that one. I really like that one. And I think that one will look really nice with that. Oh, yeah, that's it. Decided already. That was quick for me. Very quick. It's got a little pearl on the butterfly. And what should we put behind it? think will this fabric go I don't think it will actually I don't know actually I think it will it's yeah you're not going to see all of it a bit of fabric and a bit of lace yeah and we need something to pop in there as our little journal spot what we got we've got some small pieces of this oh that's a teeny tiny piece of that oh it's the same piece I've used for the base I think I just need to cut it down a smidgen I could do it with my scissors but we haven't got a lot of, <laughs> we haven't got a lot of that left to play with have we to make it too small we've had it there we go they're just so cute as Melina said, we love little things that tuck in pockets, don't we? 
you might only have room to fit one word on but it's just the cuteness factor makes it all worth it right so that's going to pop in there just check what get it in and out yeah no problem and on it we're going to have this so grab my little punch again i'm going to punch right at the top i don't need to mark this one yeah that's fine put that back where it lives and you'll have room without knocking everything off missus so this one i'm just going to use one of the bulb pins for and i think i'm going to put a flower on for a change or shall i just stick with a butterfly rest have ended up with butterflies one's ended up with nothing oh that's ended up with nothing poor thing we could put a little dangle from that side i suppose or under there we could attach one like that somehow i don't know we'll leave him without a charm and we'll stick with a butterfly on this one it seems to be the theme doesn't it oh i like that one is it going to get stuck on that pearl we want an even teenier one look at that look how tiny that is i'm putting that really teeny tiny one on that is the cutest little butterfly ever oh there we go through there through there i don't know why i'm saying that every time i put pin through something You know what it is sometimes? I think I spent too long doing crafts with kids at school. <laughs> uh, and this time I want the hole on that side. So I am going to mark it. Ready to punch. Oh, it's a bit near paper clip. I hope I don't come a cropper. I can just get it in. And punch. Yeah, we did it. I think it's just slid it off sideways, the fact that, yeah, the paper clip was there. So let's have a look at it. Oh, I like, look at that. These are just the cutest, and we've got our little bit of paper in. Lovely. So, thank you so much, Melina, for coming up with these. Uh, she did say that she got some of the ideas from other ladies as well. I cannot remember so yeah I've got Melina's video and channel linked so if you pop over there she has links the ladies who she got the ideas from uh, they're, they're not people I've watched or heard of so I can't remember them right so there we have it cute little dangly paper clippy embellishmenty things I hope you enjoyed that uh, I hope it made sense <laughs> I hope I've been in shot. Yeah, I hope a lot of things. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with another style of paperclip embellishment. So thank you very much for watching. Bye.